It is Climate Week, but this is a series that we continue all year. Our climate in crisis, longer and more intense fire seasons are one of the most visible signs of climate change impacting us here in the Bay Area. In fact, we no longer have a real fire season. It's almost year round. Our meteorologist, Rob Maeta, takes a closer look. Here at Mount Umanum in the Santa Cruz Mountains, we're seeing the impact of climate change all around us. In fact, it's showing up in the data being sampled by San Jose State's Fire Weather Lab, fuel moisture content that is turning drier more quickly and more often. Uh, you know, it was forecasted decades ago that earlier spring would uh, lead to bigger fires and larger uh, area growth and fire. But so we're probably just we're in that we're seeing that come true. You can see that like this plant just hasn't really this one here hasn't responded at all. There's still all these this dead in here. And if you walk through that chemise field, you can see that there's lots of dead down dead woody debris. So that some of that chemise is dying off. Could be related to drought stress uh, or lack of soil moisture, climate change, warmer temperatures, uh, a drier drier air causing more evaporation. To see how weather changes are impacting wildfire fuels, the team takes live shrub samples from the field and into the lab to be cataloged and weighed. They're then placed into an oven for 24 hours, then reweighed for moisture content. The results from earlier this month showed those numbers were at record lows. I think that because of these uh, low springtime fuel moistures, which are well below normal, that we can expect an earlier fire season and bigger fires earlier in the season than we typically see. Even though we had huge fires in the Bay Area in 2020, uh, we still have a lot of acres that have not burned. And so we still need to keep our guard up and be aware that we're in high fire danger this, this year. And because of the added second year of drought, it could be even worse. So even though we had these big fires, those areas may not burn as readily, but the areas around them could. So that's what we have to be careful of. Again, we are just managing expectations here. Rob and our weather team tells us that although the latest results from San Jose State's Weather Fire Lab show that slight improvements in terms of new growth last week, overall the fire conditions remain high. The intensity of this current drought also is expected to become worse with an extended fire season looking likely again.